Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is the first of a new series that I haven't quite found the name for yet and our first guest is going to be Beast Mode Paul. How you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm good. So we recorded like 6-10 minutes of this stuff and I wasn't recording his audio <laughs> so don't worry about that. We're going to do a little <laughs> bit of a restart but just briefly for the people tell me about 2023, how was your year, favorite tournament, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, my 2023 was great in the second half. I ended up getting a lot of huge wins. I started getting better, more consistent practice. Uh, I've been doing really well in that second half. I've been getting a lot of good wins. It was very good. My favorite tournament as a spectator was Cirque. And as a competitor, it was Port Priority because of the wins on Gluttony and Andres and Siski. So. That Gluto win is so. Well, do you think, okay, do you think Hero is a character that just isn't super common in Europe? Or you just got those guys' numbers? Or a little bit of both? I think it's, I mean, I definitely think I outplayed them to a degree. Yeah, I, I have to I outplay have to them to win. I watched uh, those sets. You definitely did. I, I mean, there is a matchup check there for sure. There is definitely some things that they didn't know about. But for Andre specifically, he had played Sparkle a round before me, who was probably the second <laughs> yeah. best hero in US. That's and he insane. won game five. And then he played me, which I'm sure he wasn't a fan of playing two heroes back to back. And I 3 0 him. Yeah, I mean, and I feel like Terry's kind of a tough one for hero as well, because he's just so quick. No? No, not really. I mean, Terry's kind of easy once you get used to crack shoot spacing and his other stuff. Ken is a nightmare. I don't like Ken. He, most hero players like Ken, but I don't like his aggro. I don't like dying at 80 off of Shoryu. That's never fun. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The, the two matchup charts in the game that I have no idea what are going on are Hero and Game Watch. I just <laughs> conceptually, it's like, oh, Game Watch and Hero should lose and beat these characters, but with Hero especially, just the spells are so difficult to like in factor into everything. He definitely loses. There's a lot of meta relevant characters he definitely loses to, unfortunately. But what would you say your toughest matchups are in the current meta? Uh, Rob, and then there's a big gap. Uh, Hero <laughs> Rob is horrible. Yeah. I, I mean, menu is invalidated the entire time. All my projectiles clink with gyro. There's no point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I'm starting to think Sonic. This is a new one for me. I think it's not horrible, but it's just very hard and mentally taxing, as I'm sure you'd know. It's yeah. Sonic um pikachu is right there as well pikachu's horrible offstage combos if i don't have bounce tjolt is horrible and i think for like a last one probably i don't exactly know right now it's a list of like joker roy maybe min min something like that yeah well you mentioned pikachu being bad but at santa claus you managed to beat the best pikachu player in the world shiny mark tell me about that set it was rough. I <laughs> I lost the in winners. I got hit off stage once and I died. And that's kind of the matchup is I'll get hit in a bad spot. And this isn't just Pikachu. Hero can die to some weird characters if in a bad spot, like Inkling for some reason. Yeah. You just die at zero. Uh Pikachu, especially with back air T Jolt camping is rough. Unless I have bounce. I you just have to win into interactions. It's lame, it's cheesy, <laughs> but I have to get a couple spells, a couple aerials, and then kill him right there. If not, it's going to be a long day for me. Hey, that's the hero way. And the rest of that Santa Paws run was incredible. I'd say, like, based off the numbers, that was probably your best run today. You picked up wins on players like Sierra, Big D, Cola, mm -hmm. Omega, and then obviously that Shiny Mark win's going to be really good. Were you just feeling it that day, or we're we going to see more of that? I mean, it's the same as I felt during, like, Port Priority in Miami. Something's clicked. It feels pretty good i also got a lot of good matchups to be fair i mean like hero ice climbers is horrible it's my best matchup yeah. <laughs> so it, it's rough ness is also pretty good belmont so it didn't really get hard till the end where they forced me to play roy joker into pikachu all back to back i don't know who did that but that was not fun <laughs> it's not uh, fair. but it, it was a good run i think it's going to continue when i go to genesis next week yeah and actually let's talk about genesis because aka is going to be there that's exciting and i hear you guys are doubling is that true no, I'm not doing doubles. Uh, when it's an event like that, I like to focus on singles that's specifically. That's super fair, actually. But speaking of Aka, have you learned a lot from him? He's kind of the only hero kind of similar to your level. Um, I haven't watched a lot of VODs, and it's mostly because when I watch VODs, it's because of I need to read menu, I need to see what your decision making is. And as someone that can't read Japanese menu except yeah. <laughs> for Zoom fluently, it's pretty rough. Um, I've definitely seen him play matchups. I like seeing how he uses his aerials and stuff because there are some times where he fights matchups like Joker and stuff like that that I look into and it's it's different. It's very different, but it's something that I could definitely take and learn from. 
I feel like your guys' hero is it's pretty different because hero is a character that you can play mm -hmm. in a multitude of ways because it really does just depend on how for you're sure. using the menu. Like he's going for the buffs every single time, whereas you're you're going through a lot of the spells more. Obviously, you still take the buffs when you can get them. But I think which do you value more, having buffs at all times or going for the correct projectile or the flame slash whatever? So it depends on the matchup. If a character, if it's like a character like Fox, I would probably rather take Accelerado. Accelerado is just above everything, in my opinion. Yeah. That's mainly, I think, the biggest thing and improvement in my gameplay in the later half is my Accelerado movement. And I think you do need it to succeed at top level in the slightest. Uh, and then there are some matchups where projectiles are just broken. Like against characters that use little projectiles where Sizzle can spread and hit like a fire arrow from Young Link or something like that. It's pretty good, but it, it usually depends on the matchup. I mean, fair enough. Here is like such a again, such an intricate character, and he should he should be like the funny character. Haha, I'm using the menu, but at the top level, he is so difficult because there's just so many other factors oh, yeah. that you just don't have with other characters. Yeah, that character's hard. Yeah, <laughs> He's a hard character. people don't give him credit because it's a little bit luck based, but you got to be able to capitalize on that luck as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I've definitely cheesed some people for sure, but. If it's consistent, it's not lucky. It's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. And you're one of the most consistent players in America. You've got like three 17s at majors in a row. And let's actually talk about your first major of 2024. Luminosity makes big moves. You had a pretty solid event getting 17th place. How do you feel there? Oh, good. I wanted to do better against Shattuck because of the rematch in Santa Paws. But other than that, I was fine. I also sad about the Tilde loss because I lost the one in 2023 also in a game five set that yeah. I should have won. <laughs> so. I, I mean, the losses weren't there. I beat Chase again, which was nice. Uh, it was just a nice way to know that it, Port and Miami wasn't like a fluke thing, yeah. and that's consistent. So that there was some lessons learned. Yeah, I mean, going into Genesis, it's got to be nice to have like a good event under your belt. Uh, and that brings me up to just I want to talk about Hero more because I feel like a okay. lot of people don't know about this character, myself included. How good do you think Hero is? So most Hero players are optimistic and they think he's broken. I am not one of those. I think Hero is, on a good day, a low high tier. On a good day, probably high mid tier, just due to the matchup chart being not good in the slightest. I think we only beat maybe two, three relevant characters in the meta, and that's like Samus, Pac-Man. Pac-Man's relying on bounce as well, so it can kind of depend. Yeah. Uh, I think he's good i think the way i play him is very good but i think that's more of me over hero than anything i, I don't i don't say i too agree i think hero is definitely getting better but when we were talking in the deleted footage that no one will see you're saying rob's a really tricky matchup sonic's a really tricky matchup and those are characters that if you're not doing well versus them it's not a fun time maybe even a secondary and this is another thing that we talked about in the deleted footage you think very highly of your secondary sephiroth do you want to talk about that a little more yeah, I, like I said, I think he's good. I actually really like his matchup chart a lot. There are some matchups like Diddy Kong that are horrendous, and you'll never see me play Sephiroth Diddy Kong in my life. But I think he does better against the matchup-relevant characters. And for me, when I see, oh, I only lose minus one to this character, this is godlike, you know, <laughs> just because I play hero. I'm used to way worse. So there may be some bias in there from playing a character like him, but I think if you were to put in the effort and learn Sephiroth, I think it's there. And I'm going to go to Trading Room probably the next day or two because we're gonna get trading mod and lab out some sephiroth stuff there's so much unexplored about him especially with narrow combos and stupid setups he's so. a very unoptimized character i feel like he has so much potential especially with like side b just to create more pressure than mm -hmm. what you already have and is there any other characters that you're considering picking up for those tough matchups like rob like maybe the devil of game of watch you thought about it so, a funny note with Game Watch, I said to multiple Raw players, if you keep beating me, I'm going to pick up Game & Watch and I'm not going to have any regard for y'all. Uh, so, you, we may see Game & Watch just for Raw because I hate him that much in this game. Um, but as a character that I am picking up right now, actually, is I am picking up Cloud just because I think he is easier than Sephiroth. I still think they're about even. Maybe Cloud may be a little bit better on that chart. But I just think he's easier, and because I'm playing Hero as a main, I'm already playing a very difficult character. I think it'll be a little hard to balance both. And there'll still be some matchups like Falco that are just so easy for Sephiroth and DDD and stuff like that, that I may play Cloud a little more. Yeah, like, Sephiroth and Hero are so difficult, and Cloud is just a much easier secondary. It's like, I'm not feeling it. It's oh, a yeah. close match. I'm just gonna back air. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm just gonna back air. Uh, and then I just want to talk about, like, your region in general, because you're from Florida, right? Yeah, Central Florida. Florida is really good, but I feel like people don't talk about it that much. Do you have any like underrated talent that you just kind of want to give a quick shout out to? Um, so I'm so 
we did have Huampi. Huampi now has moved to New England, but we did have Huampi. And Huampi is a very talented Palutena banjo player that they'll go on a great run. I uh, went game five with Webb actually at Luminosity make big moves. So very talented player there. Uh, Mysterica is a really good player. I'm sure you know her. She's a yeah. good Palutena player. Um, and we also have a really good Samus player. He doesn't go out very much anymore, but we have a player named G Swizzy that plays the game pretty well. I, he beat Louis Money, I think, at Cirque. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. It was either at Cirque or some... I forgot what it was, but he's a very good Samus player that... If he goes out more practices more, he'll be up there for sure. I mean, it doesn't matter when you beat Luis. If you beat Luis, that's that's quite the feat. I saw Zwampi, or Zwampi took a light to Game 5 as well. I can't remember the event. Oh, yeah. Zwampi's, like, a super talented. Yeah. It's definitely made me the player I am. Or at least one of the reasons, for sure. So sick. Uh, so Genesis is definitely going to be your big event. I guess the brackets aren't out for Genesis, which is a little no. bit unfortunate. But what have you been doing to practice for Genesis? How do you get meaningful practice in Smash Ultimate? Um, so it's, it's kind of the same as most of the top players. I go support your local scene. That's the important thing, especially in the region I am. Even if you're in a region that's not as good as Central Florida, just being there, especially a good player like I'll take a Paul Kage is a great example. Goes to St. Louis and Missouri, and there's a lot of great players there as well. But he goes to his locals consistently, and he's raising the level of the region for sure, just for being there and giving tips and stuff. And that helps a lot here in Central Florida because we have a group of players like Goblin, Epic Gabriel, myself. There's a lot of good players here that love, oh, and Jake as well, that love to be around, and we all help each other out, which is great. Um, I also practice online because... As you know, with all the top four that are always in Coinbox, if you practice online, those results will replicate pretty well um, with Spargo, Sonics, Rath, Shiny Mark, etc. So when I, I see Coinboxes, I'll do them. I practice on in Ryuga Court a lot in the grind server with other good players. I try to do about an hour a day, typically. Um, I can do more. I can do about two hours as well if I need good practice. Like, I guess a raw player or a Palutena player, I'll yeah. always take the practice for it, but... I do that, and before a bracket, actually, what I do is I thought review almost everyone that's going to be in my path, because it's very important. Uh, are there any players that have just been giving you issues lately that you have an idea of what you're going to do against them in the next set? There are only two players that I actually feel stumped that I've played against, and that's Shattuck, because I don't think I know too much about Corrin right now, and I played Leo at Miami, and I'm horrible against Biolith, so that <laughs> makes sense. Uh, but those are that's really it uh goblin always beats me at boardwalks but i have a good feeling for roy in general uh i beat cola and santa paws mostly due to his help so i've been learning that more i think the only player that i see when i go to genesis and i'm gonna be like this is horrible is if i have to end up playing zachary because he's hero scary. pit rob and joker are yeah. all horrible <laughs> I mean, and it's Zachary. That's definitely not a guy. Oh, and and Zachary is an amazing player. He's just so well, good. Yes. And then I, you can't feel too bad about losing to Shattuck. That guy is like he no. found like a magical amulet or something. He's just been on such a tear. He's better. I'll admit it. There's few yeah, people I say that are better than me. He's better. Yeah, you can't feel too bad about giving that one to Shattuck, but not for long. But not, not for, for long. long. Not for long. Uh, <laughs> and then honestly, I just want to pick your brain as a top player about a couple characters in the current meta. The first one is going to be Corin. She's just had such a meteoric success, and I kind of feel like she's so important in the current meta because she does so well versus a lot of the characters. She does pretty good versus Sonic relative to most of the cast. She beats Game Watch. She beats Steve. She probably goes even with Rob. Like, what do you think of Corin? I think she's good. I think she's a little overrated because I think people have to understand that Shattuck is just that good at the game. He's and it, I, I see it's mostly him because even when I watch other Corrin players at the top level, they're not doing the thing Shattuck's doing. Shattuck is just different. Um, I still think Corrin's very good. I still have her at like probably middle high tier. I, she's a very good character still. But I feel like if you're down, Corrin doesn't really have that X factor to come back and win the game other than just outplaying your opponent. But we live in a meta with Steve. That's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's hard to do that. And uh, like, I still think she's good, but she's going to have trouble against characters like Cloud, Sephiroth, and Aegis, Joker, that I think it could be a problem for her in the long run. Yeah, she doesn't have that that X factor, aside from just getting a crazy confirm it's a pin, but those confirms mm -hmm. are very, very specific. Uh, the next yeah. one is going to be a character that I talk about a lot, and that's going to be Bayonetta. She has been a problem, specifically in America. Like, there's obviously Bloom's mm -hmm. very good, Tom P's very good, but there's a lot of Bayos running around in America. Has that been a problem for you as a hero player? I used to. Like, I did lose to Death Spade in Gateway Legends, but now I'm pretty confident against Bayonetta. I 
think she's she's a good character, but she's very overrated in my opinion. I just don't think people understand. And I used to play Bayonetta, so it makes more sense to me. Yeah. Uh, fighting Bayonetta, but a lot of people will see them do all their specials and then land, and then either fall for the witch time or the landing down air all the time. And Lima loves doing it a lot, Bloom especially. So I think once people start catching on. Bayonetta will go down a little bit. I think top level just has to learn the matchup. It takes them a long time to learn matchups, in my opinion. So yeah, just give them some time. They'll learn it. There's like those players from Smash 4 that are like, they understand how to punish Bayonetta when she gets down. And then there's like the new yeah. age. It's like, I don't know what the hell's going on. This character is flying around and she's scaring me a lot. And then yeah, I think for the sure. final character that I want to ask you about in the meta is one that we kind of talked about earlier, Game of Watch. Are we going to see the world where just everyone's got a pocket game watch for Rob? Is that just going to be what happens? Because I kind of feel like it is. If Rob players start winning more, yes. I don't think there's a point right now because at the highest level, we're really just seeing Zamba and Anathema break the top 64 plane into the top 32, 16, 8, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so maybe not right now. I think if there's a point where a couple more Robs start doing it, maybe. But if people haven't picked up simple characters for Steve and and game and watch and sonic i don't think they'll do it for rob i think ultimate players are a little stubborn when it comes to that and myself included a little bit yeah, um I agree. so i think i give it some time probably won't end up happening but i could see it that's research sure, because i saw shiny mark playing game and watch versus shiny mark at coin box and i was so sad i was oh, like Spar it's oh, over Spargo. smash yes, is dead Spar <laughs> yes the spargo game and watch he's just trolling <laughs> i know he's just I, he's just trolling I'm very curious if he does go that offline though i don't imagine he will just because shiny maybe if he's if he's action. losing to zamba or shiny mark maybe but he always beats shiny mark even with cloud offline and yeah i mean then he just has zamba's maybe. Feels like maybe zamba but he's beaten him before with ages i don't think it's a problem yeah all right and then i guess the kind of final thing that i got asked about is just your general plans for 2024 i know you got genesis but what's coming up after that um so for tournament wise i'm going to genesis i'll go to pretty much anything in florida we're having a i know they're having a florida summit at the end of july i'm pretty sure uh ceo is going to be coming up i'll probably be at that if miami happens again i'll be at that um right now we're just i'm just kind of waiting for tournaments to get announced oh i am going to gommel right now i have gommel planned and I'm going to a more regional event of Gourmet Bash up in Canada. That's just where my sponsor's hosting a tournament. They're flying me out. So it'll be fun to go over there for a little bit and have some fun. Yeah, that sounds super sick. And then uh, actually the final question is, I think you were ranked somewhere in like the 80s, 70s on the Lumiere. 79, yeah. 79. Definitely not reflective of where you are right now, at least in my no. opinion. But what's your goal for 2024? Where do you want to be? So my overall goal is best in the world as most competitors are. I think, right, it's not going to happen this year, I think, unless what? something big happens. I th Not best, all right? I think Aqua is going to just win a lot of stuff. That guy's really good. So <laughs> I think my goal going into it is, like, maybe top 30, 20, if we're going just by ranking standpoints. But as I always say, play to learn, learn to win. I just play to learn the game. And, I mean, if I start learning to win, it'll, it'll come along. The results will match with your practice. So just exactly. practice and learn the game. I think it's the big thing for me. Just learn more, I guess. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people get, like, really, like, asphyxiated on the rank. But the rank reflects how you're doing. Like, yeah, you can be top 30 mm -hmm. in the world. But if you're just getting that from not top 80 majors, you just have a bunch of good wins. That's nice. But if you're top 80 majors, get a major win. I feel like that's a lot more important. And people kind of lose sight of that. So it's glad to see that you have that, like, in mind. You have the proper mindset of being a competitor in this game. Yeah. And then, sure. yeah, that's all I really got to say. You got anything you want to plug before we head out? Uh, yeah, so I, starting about next week or two weeks from now, I'm going to start doing a little bit more YouTube content, get that grinding. So go check me out on Beast Mode Paul, uh, just capital B, M, and P. It's the same as my tag. Um, I have a Twitter, Beast Mode Paul 1, Twitch, Beast Mode Paul 1. Or I think my Twitter is just Beast Mode Paul, but it's the same thing pretty much. Maybe a 1 at the end if the name's taken. But that that's about all I got to shout out for now. Uh, I appreciate you for doing the interview. It was a fun time. Yeah, thanks so much for coming on. Again, all of this stuff will be linked down below. Be sure to sub if you haven't already, and let me know what players you want to see on for more interviews. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much, man.